What is up my cutouts cardboard and here coming at you with the final video from my current location in the world I guarantee you that much. It looks as though we're into the new season of Crossout part 2 on the devlogs. New cabins and changes to parts upcoming. So let's see here. A new light cabin called the Kronos. Finally a light cabin for the Don's children. They usually specialize in mediums only. It looks as though... Let's just read. Thanks to the documentation of the Walker Davian Corporation found in one of their laboratories, the Don's children were able to master the control modules of the Ravagers and soon began to use them for their own purposes. This has a whole bunch of nodes on it. Uh-oh. You know what that means, guys. It's uh, very similar to the Master Cabin. Uh, let's see here. Among the legendary cabins of the light type, Kronos is the lightest one. This is reflected in the smaller mass and durability. Slightly lower tonnage and mass limit and excellent speed. Basically, it's a light cabin. Uh, this won't be, even be the most important aspect because the Kronos will have a lot of power nodes, which have been noted up there all over the place. The perk is the cabin is able to gradually restore the durability of parts that are attached to its power nodes. This is very similar to the Master, is it not? That's Isn't that the Master? Isn't that the Master? Hold on. For this, it is a limited resource, which is spent during the perk's activation. Once the restoration resource is depleted, the perk will be disabled until cooldown. You can manually control the restoration process and enable or disable while there are available charges left. The perk is recharged by the armored car Rex located in front of your car, regardless of friendly or hostile. If you take damage during this time, then the accumulation of the perk's charge will slow down. Interesting. So, you need to drive directly at a wreck, which, you know, we all love doing. Because, you know, wrecks don't get in the way. But that charges the perk, and the perk can be activated to repair things on your car. That's pretty neat. Um, this is a direct competitor to the Master, though if this is a light cabin, it's probably not going to make it as well as the Master. Once again, this will suffer from the exact same issue that the Master Cabin does, with the exception of the Master Cabin uh, heals a percentage of health, 50% after 5 seconds, basically 10% a second, but it takes like uh, 5 seconds to charge up. This does not say that yet. There's not enough information to find out how much it's going to actually heal. If it heals a flat rate, then it will actually be a, would be better in some instances than the master, and I would actually prefer a flat rate. If this provided a flat rate heal, then this cabin would be pretty dang good. Uh, the reason why I say it, uh, a flat rate heal would be better than a percentage heal is because a percentage heal means that you're uh, going to skew to higher durability items because you have to because healing 50 percent of i don't know 45 hit points over five seconds is effectively not having a perk that's terrible so that's the reason why you don't put like garbage onto the power nodes onto a master cabin usually you put things such as millers reapers uh you put huge things like uh mastodons, anything like that, so that you can get that full value of that 50% heal. If this is a static rate, this would mean that, one, it would lend itself further away from uh, larger weapons, and it would work with smaller weapons. So these nodes here, for example, could fit standard shotguns, and so on and so forth. And if it's healing a static rate of however many hit points a second, that means you could actually attach things that aren't that good to it. This would have to be careful, though, because uh, if this works with pass-through parts, as pass-through parts are, that might be just a little busted. Planned changes to tracks and cabins. Tracks. There are going to be perks for tracks. <laughs> so, small track. The perk is going to be at a speed of no less than a certain value, so it's unknown. The spread of weapons will be reduced. Uh, other movement parts will, of course, decrease that by proportion. Slept near tracks. Uh, I believe those are the ones that just came out. This will increase weapon rotation speed. That isn't bad. That actually helps bring it back with the oppressor that got nerfed recently. Reinforced track. Each reinforced track on the mounted car will increase the durability of all the same tracks on the vehicle. This is... Eh. Eh. Tank tracks already have durability. They don't need more durability, especially the uh, reinforced tracks. Though the reinforced tracks are, I mean, it's better than nothing, which is what it currently has. Currently has nothing, better than nothing, but that's kind of bad. Tank track, after losing a certain amount of the armor card durability, its speed and power will increase. That's actually pretty cool. This perk will only work if there are no other movement parts mounted on the car. Pretty brutal, but I mean, that's, that's actually not terrible. As long as the, so it says speed, that should increase that. If this doesn't increase the top speed of the track, then this, that's, tar, that's garbage. But if it increases the mass, max speed of the track, then that could, could actually amount to something. 
the armored track. Uh, when the player is within a certain radius of a certain number of opponents, the damage protection of the structural parts increases. Uh, that's actually amazing. There we go. I, I'm not mad at that. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That would mean that if you're surrounded by more people, you, your entire build gets more durable. I'm assuming that's going to be two to three, probably three or more. But that's, that's pretty good. I mean, this would uh, add even more synergy to the world. Goliath track, everyone's favorite parts attached to the track, will receive a durability bonus. Now, the interesting thing about this is, uh, obviously that would mean the frames. And the Goliath track does have mounting points on its sides. So basically those side mounted things will just have a little bit more durability, depending on what that durability bonus is. Okay, I mean... That's all right. Changes to the cabins. The hot rod, that is the presently the rare type cabin, which was medium, is going to light. It's being increased to special rarity. It is no longer staying at rare. It's going to have an increase in power score, but also an increase to top speed. And it's got a perk, which, by the way, is just a lesser version of the Torero perk. So the hot rod is now the Torero's predecessor or antecedent, and it is increases the accuracy of mounted weapons by 15%. So it's a lesser Torero. That's not bad with lower power score. The Jockey is going to special tier. Its durability is going up. I'm sorry, reduced. It's going... What? Its power score is going up, but its durability is coming down. Cabin top speeds are being increased to 75 kilometers an hour. It's going to have more tonnage by about 500. And its maximum mass is being increased by 500. But it's getting a perk. And it says the damage of weapons and drones is increased as long as they, there are enemy vehicles within 25 meters of you. What? The max is 10% bonus achieved over 10 seconds. Very interesting. That's actually a pretty interesting perk. That's actually a pretty interesting perk. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think if there is a uh, cabin that does that right now. I don't think there is. So yeah, the jockey's now a drone cabin. Oh. Carapace, I have ragged on this for a while, but looks like they're giving it what it's due. Cavity is, cabin's rarity is increased to special, no longer rare. Its power source is being increased from 750 to 110. The maximum cabin speed has been increased from 55 to 65, which it desperately needed. This is the thing it needed. It needed this thing. Being the cabin with the lowest top speed in the game was pointless like it literally was an outlier nothing has 55 kilometers an hour everything has 60 55 is an outlier just way lower but it's going from 55 to 65 so it is still a heavy cabin in its name uh but it's a heavy cabin technically with um technically it's still considered a medium but it's basically a heavy cabin uh with 65 kph and a perk and everyone knows this perk when there are enemies within a radius of 150 meters, and the more enemies, the faster it will charge, it's going to give you reload bonus of 30% 30, uh, 30 for six seconds. So this is like a hybrid hybrid perk. Actually, it's not a hybrid perk. It's the Echo Cabin. This is the Echo Cabin. Um, the Carapace is just a lower tier Echo Cabin, just similarly to how the Hot Rod is going to be a lower tier Torero. And finally, a change to the Torero Cabin which is changing it from medium to light, and it says MP, but that is clearly a typo. This is PS, power score. So the power score of the Torero is going from 1500 to 1800. Put simply, it's too fast, so they're just like, you know what, we're just going to make it a light from here on out. It's a medium cabin now, but it's going up to light. They are not reducing its stats yet. Light cabins usually don't have the mass limit or the power ratio that the Torero has, so they haven't changed any of that. They're just changing its categorization from medium to light, thus increasing the power score by 300. Light cabins have a power score inflation uh, because that's just how light cabins are. And this is that power score inflation. Interesting stuff coming down the tr uh, pipe. Interesting stuff. These nodes, I don't know why they seem to be limiting the nodes specifically to healing, but I'm fine with that. Again, if it's a static rate, that could be interesting. It looks as though, if I do the math, what is that? Uh, one, two, maybe three, four, five. It looks, I think it is five pins wide. So this looks similar to the dead man in its, um, its geometry. Let's see here. I think that's two. This will be three. Four. No, it might, 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 might be six wide. It's either five or six pins wide. If it's six pins wide, it's standard. If it's five pins wide, then it's a dead man. Either way, 
looks for looks interesting. Hopefully it's in the battle pass and not part of some pack, which of course would be a battle pass. But all right. I don't think there's anything else I need to go over. Things like tracks having perks, that's a good change because tracks need help even now. The carapace change making it a mini echo, nice. Hot rod making it a mini terrero, nice. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, guys, I don't want to keep it too long, so peace.